So here we're going to do another example using the standard normal distribution. Okay, so this has to do with cholesterol levels, um, something that um, certainly important to your health. So the distribution of blood cholesterol levels in a large population of people of the same age and sex is roughly normally distributed. So for 14-year-old boys, the mean is 170 milligrams of cholesterol per deciliter of blood, and the abbreviation here, milligrams per deciliter. And the standard deviation is 30 milligrams per deciliter. It turns out levels above 240 may require some medical attention, so that's what you want to keep an eye out on. Once it goes over 240, we've got to um, maybe send you to the doctor and uh, start doing some tests, see what's going on. So we want to figure out what percent of 14-year-old boys have more than 240 milligrams per deciliter of cholesterol. So basically, what percentage of 14-year-old boys um, may need some sort of medical intervention, some, some extra tests going on. So again, I'm going to um, specify my, my variable. So I'm going to let x be the um, level of cholesterol of cholesterol in the blood. And we want the proportion we want the proportion of boys with in this case we want the proportion of boys with X greater than 240. We're trying to figure out the proportion of boys um, whose cholesterol level is greater than 240. And intuitively, you would think probably, you know, 14-year-old kids in general tend to be in pretty good health. So intuitively, I would expect this level to be, to be quite low, um, even, you know, without even having that information about the mean and the standard deviation. Um, you don't mean, meet too many kids with, with cholesterol problems. It tends to be something that afflicts um, older older individuals. Okay, so the same thing, we're just going to um, standardize, the, standardize, the, standardize this by subtracting the mean and dividing by the standard deviation. So again, we saw that z equals x minus mu divided by sigma. That's going to be standard normal. So again, x is normally distributed with a mean of we said what was the mean? Um, so the mean was 170 and the standard deviation was 30. Okay, so that's just notation saying that x is normally distributed with a mean of 170, standard deviation of 30. So I'm going to standardize. I'm going to subtract the mean, divide by the standard deviation, and I'm going to do the same thing to the right side. I'm going to subtract the mean of 170 and divide by the standard deviation. So on the left side we can now write that as z and if you do the arithmetic 240 minus 170 that's 70. 70 divided by 30 is going to be roughly 2.33. So I'm going to read off the value 2.33 from my uh, table of z-scores here in just a second. Now we have to be careful so here's 2.33 the area we're interested in, we want z, we want to figure out the area underneath the curve um, where it's greater than the value 2.33. So this is the area we want. Because again, that area corresponds to the probability. But my um, z-score table, My z-score table is going to tell us the area to the left. So we'll have to do um, a little bit of a finagling to fix it, but no big deal. So first off, let's find 2.33. So the first thing I do is I find 2.3 on the left side. So there's 2.3. And now I've got to find 2.33. So there's 2.30, 2.31, 2.32, 2.33. Um, Hopefully you can read that. That says 0 0.9901. So this area to the left, underneath my normal distribution with a mean of 0 and standard deviation of 1, we said that that area is going to be 0 0.9901. 
Well, the idea is we know that the area underneath the um, standard normal curve is exactly equal to 1. So the area that we want, well, we know the area under the entire curve is 1. And we subtract away the area to the left, which is 0 0.9901. And if we do um, 1 minus 0 0.9901, that's going to give us 0 0.0099. So the area, the area we want to the right of this z-score of 2.33, that's equal to 0 0.0099. And if we convert that into a, um, a percentage, that's going to be 0 0.99% which is roughly equal to 1.00%. So it says the proportion of boys that um, have a high cholesterol level of greater than 240, that's going to be roughly about 1% of the population. So again, nothing too crazy here, just doing this uh, standardizing um, of the variable. and. The other thing I wanted to illustrate in this, uh, this problem is how you can also get, you know, you have to be careful when you read off the table, right? Um, because again, the table is telling you values to the left of the z-score. There are some tables out there that will tell you the value to the right. But the one that I'm using, the ones that I've seen most often tell you the value to the left. So in that case, if you do want the area to the right, all you have to do is the same thing as we did in this example and just take 1 minus the value.